PN junction and Z0 diode characteristics in a single board. There are two junction diodes, IN 4007 and OA79. Okay, and Z0 diodes 5.1 volts and 3.3 volts. And one DC power supply provided in the board that is 0 to 10 volts variable DC power supply. These are two digital meters. One is dual ammeter, that is, switch is for 2000 microamps, this is for 200 milliamps. Similar way for voltmeter, 200 millivolts, 20 volts. But uh, for uh, like characteristics of PN junction diode, you only require this diode. For uh, Zener diode, this is only for Zener diode. So here are the circuit for PN junction diode. So this is forward bias. The diode is connected in forward bias, and this circuit is in reverse bias. Only the connection difference between these two circuit is only the reversing of diode and voltmeter. These two only we have to change. Okay. Similar case. In Zener diode, the same thing. Only the diode changes, the diode position changes in forward and reverse direction. First, we are doing PN junction forward bias. So, I am connecting this connection. Power supply positive to resistance. So, here we are taking see, power supply positive to resistance. Here we have given 1 kilo ohm resistance. So, 1 kilo ohm resistance I am taking from 1 kilo ohm to ammeter positive. Okay, see ammeter positive, then ammeter negative to diode positive. I am going in forward direction, so that is in forward direction from negative of the diode to that is K of the diode to power supply. So we have to connect uh, across voltmeter across the diode. So positive to positive and negative to negative. So we have completed this circuit. So you can see here, positive of the resistance, resistance to milliameter, milliameter to diode, diode to power supply negative. Across uh, diode we are providing, connecting a uh, voltmeter. So switcher should be in 200 milliamps and 20 volts. Okay. So uh, now I am varying the part. You can see the readings. So you can see here, it is 0.48. Now started the current reading, so there will be a strip range in milliameter as soon as it reaches the cutoff range. So you can see here. So we have to note down the tablet form like this in, in stepwise. So 0 0.250, 0 0.40, 0 0.45, 0 0.50. 0 0 0.02, 0 0.55, 0 0.55, here it is 55, 0 0.07 and 0 0.60, you can see the millimeter ring getting in a fast sweep direction, so 0 0.60 it is 1.8, for 0 0.50 it was 0 0.7, exactly double, more than double, so 0 0.65 we can see it is already the millimeter reading from 1.8 it has reached to 5.8 so that is the steep of the graph you can clearly mention clearly see here 0 0.65 5.9 milliamps so this is the last reading 0 0.67 8.5 for 10 volts power supply so you have to uh, plot the graph in a forward direction like this initially it was zero again it changed directly sweep ranges this is the graph for forward bias direction similarly now we are doing reverse bias. Just we have to change these two polarities, interchange these two polarities. Earlier it was in forward direction. We have to, we are now it is reverse direction. So I am changing these two connections. Only the diode connection we are changing. I am just interchanging the diode connection. See, I am just interchanging the diode connection. And now you can see it should be in microamps because in reverse bias for PN junction diode. It should be in microamps. This is in voltage. That is 20 volts. For 1 volt. 1 volt. 9, 9, 10 microamps. For 2 volt. 19 microamps. Like that. You have to go for 10 volts. 3 volts. 28 microamps. 4 volts. 38 microamps. 
5 volt i request you guys to not uh, proceed more than 5 volts because in reverse direction what happens is if you supply more voltage the diode may get damaged so 47 microamps this is for pn junction diode forward bias in a single i am i have used in 4000 you can even repeat it for same thing for os 7 even plot for the diagrams now we are doing for zena diode zena diode connection so i'm removing the connection and showing you clearly again for zena diode see what we have to do you have to connect zena diode connection so from positive we have taken 1 kilo ohm resistance then from 1 kilo ohm resistance it is going to ammeter positive ammeter to zena diode i am taking 5.1 voltage then from negative of the zena diode to power supply negative across diode i am connecting voltmeter same connections as given in pn junction diode in place of pn junction diode we are keeping voltage here we have to uh, the ammeter should be in 200 milliamps and 20 volts because zena diode will be in reverse direction so we are doing in a reverse direction connection okay so zena diode has been connected in the reverse direction so that we it can be clearly shown so i am now rotating the voltage see 1 volt 0 okay you can see 1 volt 0 2 volts still 0 2.5 still 0 3 3 volts 0 until and it reaches the cutoff range it the current won't start 3.5 0 4 still 0 4.5 you can see 4.5 0 0.02 5 can see the current reading already increases as soon as it reaches the zero diode steep voltage it is increasing 5 volts 1.1 and the cutoff range 5.1 it reaches 4 milliamperes so this is our graph we have to, to draw zero diode in a reverse direction so initially it was initially it was zero so for 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt 5 volt it was zero as soon as it reaches 4.5 it is giving the peak current so this is the graph Similar way, you can uh, plot the graph for forward direction. Thank you.